Hi guys, it's Jason here from Divine Hammer Computers, and today I decided to do something a little different for you guys. Um, wanted to give you a how-to guide on how to install Kodi, previously known as XBMC, or Xbox Media Center. Uh, basically it's a great program to um, install on a computer and play your media back. And it's actually a really powerful device. However, not only can it do that, and it does it really well, has lots of free legal add-ons, um, such as YouTube and other things like that. You can really set it up to be whatever way you want. It's also highly customizable. And you can do some interesting things with it. I'm going to show you a little bit of that today, after I show you how to install it. So. To install it, basically you need to go to Kodi, K-O-D-I, dot TV. I'll bring that up here. So you're at Kodi, dot TV. And then go to the Downloads folder. And then you pick your device. And if this works on Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, OS X, uh, Android, there's some other devices, Raspberry Pi. Uh, jailbroken iOS and you can also download um, a version of Ubuntu that has Kodi built in if you just want to install it as an operating system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to download the installer. We're not going to use a test build because that could be unreliable. And we're going to there we'll save the file. And it'll take a couple seconds here as it is downloading. That's 15.2 is the version number for this video. Okay, so now we want to open this file that just downloaded. Sorry about that. Okay. Kodi setup, click next, then agree to the license. Um, all these are checked, that's fine. Click next. Uh, now you can pick where you want to install it. For this purpose, I'm just going to install it on my SSD. That's the same as my Windows, so program files is fine. And just call it Kodi, that's fine. And let's let it install. Okay, so it's installed. Now we want to run Kodi. Maybe that's part of the problem, I didn't do a reboot. Anyways, this is kind of a screw up, ain't it? Let's go task manager, let's see if it's still, if it's actually running. They didn't shut it down properly last time. Okay, well there we'll close it, end task. And we'll go back and we'll launch it, there we go. Okay, so Kodi loads up after you've done that. You should not have to do that step. That was just because I hadn't rebooted from the time I uninstalled it last time. Okay, so you're going to get a bunch of pop-ups. Uh, AudioDB.com for music videos. It's marked broken. Do you want to disable it? I'm going to say yes. The other things down here you see are updating. So what I normally like to do is just leave it for a bit and let it do its updates. And of course, this is on a computer with internet, so it is going to go through and do all its updates. Um, you got a news ticker along the bottom telling you about Kodi 16.0 that I believe is getting closer to coming out, but as of this video is not available. There's some release candidates, but I'm going to wait until the final version's out. Okay, so now it appears to have stopped. So basically, Kodi right now, as it is, there's a section for pictures. And you can click that and you get first run. Um, you get picture add ons, and of course, there is none. You click get more, and you get all these add ons that you can use for pictures. You can search Google, Last FM Slideshow. If pictures are your thing, 
you've got lots of free add-ons here to do that with. Uh, personally, I'm not someone who's played around with all these pictures and stuff, but if that's your thing, then go ahead and do that. And you can add those and install those if you really felt like it. Um, just by going into it and adding, uh, like say we really like the, I don't know, break pictures from break.com. Click that, it downloads, says enabled. You can go back to it. Where are we? Go back. Home, pictures, break pictures. Execute setup wizard. Sure. Um, I want uh, thumbnails. Sure. And there it gives you a whole bunch of pictures. Exciting, I guess. And you can go through and you go next page. And you can look at all the pictures. Again, that's not really my thing. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then you have videos, and you have files that you can get off your hard drive, and you also have add-ons. Now, the add-ons, uh, there's going to be a fair amount of them in there. As of right now, I don't have any installed. Okay, and then you've got music, and it's more of the same. You can find music off your hard drive, files, or you can add some add-ons. And then you've got programs, then you have system. And system is all your system settings for the... Um, for this program and it's not something you use a lot but it is when you use it to set things up obviously okay so we're gonna go to system and then to file manager and under file manager we're gonna click add source and then in this box we want to type HTTP semicolon fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG and click done And then here we want to click and type in dot fusion, F-U-S-I-O-N, and click done. And then click OK. And then click the backspace. OK, and then we click system, go to add-ons, install from zip file, and then click fusion. Then we want to click Start here and select plugin.video.hubwizard. As of this recording, it's 1.1.9.zip. And you just leave that for a little bit. And you'll see Config Wizard add on enabled on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to click back and back again. Go to Programs. Click on Config Wizard, and then all your different options come up. I'm on a Windows computer, so we're going to select Windows, and we're going to click Yes. And now we wait. Okay, so now you have a bunch of add-ons under each different category, except pictures. Pictures doesn't have any. Under videos, you have the best add-ons out there. Music, you have some. Uh, karaoke is absolutely amazing if you like karaoke. Uh, programs has some. So I guess we're going to look at videos first, since that's the most popular. And actually, there's a new add-on that just came out called Exodus. And all the shortcuts are here. So all you have to do is click on this file. And then you have a choice of your movies, your TV shows, channels. 
so there you go you have some movie channels uh, so if we go under movies and we'll select well, let's see what people are watching you'll come up with your most popular movies now obviously something like Deadpool the quality is going to be pretty horrible because it's still in theaters but if you were to pick something let's say let's find something that's been up for a while oh, let's go James Bond why not Click on it, brings up a bunch of selections. And then you have all your sources. Of course, 1080p is going to be your highest quality. And it'll tell you what add on it's using to get that, uh, and then what its source is. So let's just try the first one on the list, just for the heck of it. Obviously that one's buffering right away, so that's probably not the best one for me to pick. <laughs> let's go back out and let's try the second one. Well, actually, they all say CDN. Let's try the one that says G-Video. I'd better luck with those ones. So that one works great. And of course you also, if you skip back, you have TV shows. And you can look at the returning TV shows if you wanted. There's also searches, so you can just search what you want. Uh, let's try Arrow. Season 4. Go down to the last one, the newest one. And same thing here. Ones that are G video are probably your best choice. Previously on Arrow, who's the blackmailer? Yep, there we go. And yeah, so that's that. Skip right out of this and we'll go back to our home screen. Uh, the other ones, Velocity, Stream All the Sources, The Royal We, those are all pretty similar, these four. Their TV shows, movies, same thing. Exodus is the newest and probably right now the best. Uh, Phoenix is a very interesting one. Um, and it has, it's basically broke up by the people that work on it. So there's different names Crusader 88, Her Place, 124, 24, 15, Valhalla, Cartoon Crazy, Finman FM. Um, I'm not seeing Skull Crusher. Must have left it. Anyways, Crusader is a lot of international channels. So if you like TV channels, I happen to be from Canada. And yeah, <laughs> there's not much in here for Canada. I don't even know what LCN, Metrovision, or SL TV is. And Shopping Channel. Not too excited about that. But yeah, there's TV channels from all over the world. Maybe good, maybe horrible, I'm not 100% sure. Um, there is an NHL Hockey one, but I haven't had any luck with that working lately. You do need to modify your host file on your computer. Um, her Place, I guess, is an add-on for girls, but there's other stuff in here that people would like, I'm sure. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's that add-on. Just wanted to give you a brief look at it. I'll go into the Royal Wii, let that load up. Hmm. Um, 
guess it felt like gas. Wow. <laughs> Lots of setup on this one. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's the same idea. It's TV shows, movies, and yeah, stuff like that. Add salt, stream all the sources. That's movies, TV shows, pretty much the exact same thing. Now, of course, your luck, depending on whether they work or not, are probably based on where you are in the world and how close the servers are to you. But other than that, your movies and TV shows should work. And there is search options, so you can search for whatever. You never know, you might find something that you didn't know even know existed. I've done that a couple times. So that's kind of the neat thing about this. And of course, to shut this down, um, surprisingly not not as easy as you would think. Um, there's a power button here, and you click exit. If you click anything else, you'll actually turn your computer right off. And actually, that went off pretty quick because of my SSD, most likely. Um, yeah, here's the really wanted the instructions that I got, that I just did. Um, they're pretty much right here on the TV Add-ons website, tvaddons.ag. And it will uh, walk you through the steps of what I just did. Again, nothing that special for what I just did. I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I'm probably not the best person to ask. It is, I'm still pretty new at this. Um, although I've used it for quite a while. And uh, if you pretty much stick to exactly what I did, you won't have any problems. Or shouldn't, anyways. I mean, worst case scenario, you can always wipe it and reinstall it. Uh, when the new version of Kodi comes out, it will be uh, 16.2. Um, recently, they've been... Kodi's been complaining that these people are making money off of them by claiming they're Kodi and being Kodi developers. Well, this, uh, this group, Fusion Installer, TV add-ons, they've gone out of their way lately to explain that they're not Kodi. The majority of the problems people have with Kodi have nothing to do with Kodi. They have everything to do with the add-ons that get installed. And unfortunately, the add-ons, some of them don't get maintained, or people quit working on them, or the movies obviously just don't work anymore. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but if you guys get it working perfectly, it's a pretty awesome thing. Anyways, this is Jason here from Divine Hammer Computers. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Take care.